What a lovely day to bake! Moin, my name is Arne, German hobby baker who is living in Luxembourg. I try to avoid food waste. When refreshing the auto, discards are always produced. For some time now, I no longer throw them away, but put them in a preserving jar. It does not matter whether rye, wheat or what kind of sourdough you maintain. It may no longer have a leavening effect, but the lactic and acidic acid makes it very good for rounding out some recipes. In my video of Danish rye bread, I have already shown you what you can do with sourdough leftovers. If you haven't watched the video yet, you can find it here. Today I show you another great use. Chocolate cake. This is from Luxembourg with Loaf, so let's get started. As you already see, this recipe takes a little bit more ingredients than you would usually need for uh, bread. This is my sourdough discards. Uh, we have sugar, we have butter, we have milk, we have cocoa powder, we have eggs, vanilla extract, baking powder and salt. What we do now, we take a bowl from a mixer because uh, we do not want to make our hands dirty. And then we take 220 grams of all-purpose flour. We don't need the bread flour for this recipe as we do not need gluten development. So this is a wheat flour, but you can probably also use spelt or whatever you prefer. And then we take our sourdough discard jar and I take 220 grams, so the same amount as we just took for flour and add that into the bowl as well. Oops, that was a little bit too much, so let's take a little bit back into the jar. And then we take our butter. This is 200 grams of butter at room temperature. Add that to the bowl as well. Then we take 280 grams of sugar. You can also use more if you want to have it a little bit more sweetened. If you want to have it a little bit more sour, take less. And then we crack two eggs into the bowl as well. Then we take a little bit of salt just a tiny bit. This will enhance the taste. And then we take 200 milliliters of milk and 70 grams of cocoa powder. Because this will get a chocolate cake. And then we take a tablespoon of baking powder as well. And then also like a tablespoon of vanilla extract. The baking powder actually helps us to raise the dough in the oven uh, because as I said we are using sourdough discards so they do not have leavening power uh, to yeah, get a little bit of softness into the dough. So we turn on the mixer and yeah, let it mix for a while. We start with a very low speed and then go up later as everything is incorporated. If you like my videos and you want to support me, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss the next videos. Thanks. So we now speed up the mixer to incorporate all ingredients. You can go higher, a little bit more. 
be careful to do not splatter your kitchen with the dough. So the dough looks really smooth now. Um, I think you need around two minutes of mixing. That should be totally enough. So this was real time now. So you see the recipe is quite easy. I take now a dough scraper to get the dough a little bit from the sides of the bowl. And then I have here a, yeah, a greased baking pan or bread pan, which I'm using now to fill in the dough. This one has 28 centimeters, so that should be enough to yeah, fit for the dough. So, and then you take your dough scraper and you can smooth the surface a little bit. That looks better for the cake later after baking. So, um, we are ready now. This can go into the oven at 180 degrees for about 50 minutes. Um, you can check all five minutes after 45 minutes if the cake is done by using a trick. You can use like a wooden stick and stick it into the um, to the cake. And if no dough sticks in it, uh, then the cake has been baken perfectly. Doesn't that look amazing? The cake smells incredible. I can tell you the chocolate aroma is very intense. Happy baking. I hope you liked my videos. For now, we will take a little break from sweet pastries and get back to breads. What do you do with your sourdough discards? Leave me a comment below the video or on my Instagram page. Next year, I will do a few basics on the subject of sourdough. If you have any topic requests, feel free to write me them. See you on the next video. Adieu and goodbye.